Mind your flight, my lord. Mr. Rajah, on behalf of the petitioners, we are listening to the holding. Uh, we have no problem with the feasibility of it one way or the other. We need it to our clients the decision whether or not they will appeal the ruling, largely because of uh, a number of instances where words have been put into the mouths of the petitioners that were never uttered. With that as it may, I believe uh, since we received uh, some communications from the deputy registrar and there were certain other pending matters in the files that were under consideration, we shall await the directions of the court before, from the petitioner's point of view, we can say one or two things. I do not know whether a visit as my landed senior on the committee has anything to add. My Lord, um, Your Ladyship, we appreciate that this Honourable Court of His Own Volition has granted a leave to appeal. Speaking for myself, obviously the decision is that of the client. So. I will be advising the client, but it is for the client to make the final decision. But in fairness to me as counsel, another counsel on this bench, I will certainly be seeking to persuade my client to appeal. One issue of accusing counsel to have been talking to the gallery, that is not something that should be left on the record of this court. It is damaging to counsel, and that is an issue that definitely needs to be taken out of the record of this court by the Court of Appeal. It was a very unfair accusation. Thank you. May it please the court, on behalf of the respondents, we thank you for the timely nature of the delivery of that ruling to allow this matter to proceed. Uh, we note that uh, you have permitted the parties leave to appeal. And we support that. The respondents support a fair resolution of this dispute in accordance with the law, and therefore we would not oppose their right to appeal. Having said that, however, and in reference to my learned friend, Mr. Stephen Mundai, who has alluded to other petitions pending before court, it is the respondent's position that we should exhaust all matters today relating to the matter that has been called out uh, by uh, your clerk uh, or your legal assistant, I apologize to the lady, uh, so that we may exhaust that, after which the court will give directions on any other matter that may be before you or may be anticipated to come before you. My Lord, my lady, on behalf of the National Assembly, um, I wish to express our uh, gratitude for the very clear ruling that the court has given us at the moment. The ruling has dealt uh, conclusively not just with the matters that were contained in the application that was hurriedly filed and responded to yesterday afternoon, but indeed some of the other peripheral issues uh, that the petitioners unfortunately took a lot of court time yesterday to deal with. My Lord, my Lady, the National Assembly has filed an application 
dated the 18th of October 2024. And I believe that application was referred to in the ruling a few moments ago. That application, subsequent to the ruling that you have just delivered, I submit is the next issue that the court should deal with. And just to put it on record, my lord, that we are ready to proceed with that application this afternoon. Members of the court will recall that last week on Tuesday, on the 15th of this month, at an hour not very different to this, when it suited the petitioners to have their application for conservatory orders high, they insisted on, on it being high. <coughs> And we request that the agency in this matter remaining and having been noted by the court, we proceed with the hearing of that application which has been fully responded to immediately after this. I'm most of that. Okay, your ladies and your ladyship, further to that, for Senate, I wish to state to your ladies and your ladyship that unlike the petitioners, we are willing to argue the application in a record 30 minutes. Is it the same petition? Yes. The application dated 18th October 2024. We will only ask for 30 minutes to exhaust our application. We will dive straight into constitutional principles. We will not take much time. The respondents can have as much time as they want so that this matter can be completed. And I know Mr. Kilda has talked about the gallery of um, Paul Winter Senior Council. From that side, it was apparent that they were not just addressing the court. Do we need to engage? Do we need to engage in arguments on that? I was answering the question. Stop exciting. Stop exciting. Stop exciting. Stop exciting. Stop exciting. Stop exciting. The public gallery today. <laughs> 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 my lords, with your permission, my lady, yesterday we were barred for being part of these proceedings. We have seen communication that we are now legally here. We have stopped mourning. Could we be allowed officially? by these files being called so that we are together. We still feel that we are excluded when we are before you. Our files, there is petition file E570, E550, E541, E572 that are supposed to be before you. That we complain to the CJ in the morning and the CJ has directed we appear here and be part of this mosaic. Kindly, let us be part of it. Your Lordship, equally, uh, I rise uh, as the advocate appearing in E509 and associate myself with the submissions made by my learned senior counsel, Paul Moite, and the ones made by my learned friend, Senior Kiddo. Yes, we need to be part of this. Discussion. Your Lordship, to the best of our knowledge, in the matter. E015. When we broke yesterday, there was a promise by the court, and the court has kept that promise that we shall be coming for a ruling of the application that was made. Yesterday, I indicated to the court, Your Lordship, that this court was constituted to deal with the consolidated petitions E522 consolidated, and now E65 consolidated. And we have been issued with a um, notice that my other friend Mr. Omar is referring to that he also seized of four other matters E570, E550, E541, and E572. Your Lordship, the notice that was issued to us indicated that we are coming for a mention in respect to, that partic to those particular files. I hope the court is in possession of this notice so that the, notice, the court may refer to the same. Subsequently, which your lordship will be seeking your guidance on how we deal with the applications filed therein. 
For example, pursuant to my client's instructions, we filed an application dated the 22nd of October for the recusal of the bench. We would wish that subsequent to the court addressing and acknowledging that the other files before it, that I get directions on how to dispose of my application, for which my ideology, the application was served.